In this video, we're going to be discussing the third part of the simple equations, addition and subtraction. We have uh, 10 examples we are going to be looking at, but we want to break it into two. So in the first part, we'll take care of the first five, and in the subsequent video, we'll look at the remaining five. And the objective we want to accomplish here is to be able to apply our understanding of a coefficient and variables and also how to make good use of like terms and unlike terms. So let's begin by looking at uh, this example. So these are the examples that we're going to be covering. We'll take up to number five and then we stop and continue the remaining one in subsequent video. So look at the first one. We have 3a plus 2a equals to 5a. So we have 3 and 2. And we can notice that there are similar variables, a and a. So we can add them straight away. So that gives us 5a. And then we'll go to the second one. Why is that getting longer? What we want to do firstly in this case is we want to collect the like terms. Collect the like terms. So how do we do that? We're just going to simply gather together all the terms that are closely related. So we have 3x plus 6x plus 2y plus 4y equals 2. So we had the two together. 3x plus 6x will give us 9x. And then 2y plus 4y will give us 6y equals to 2. And that is how we apply our knowledge of a coefficient and variable and also like and unlike terms. So you can see the like terms. We group them and we're able to add them very easily. And if you go to question number three, we're going to do the same thing. And I will make that repetition with a reason so that you can really understand how important this concept is. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to collect the like terms. So after collecting the like terms, I'm going to perform the basic operation. So we have 5v. Do we have anything that looks like v? Yes, we do. Minus 3v minus 3w plus 5w equals to 2. So now, if we take 3v from 5v, it's going to give us 2v. And in this case, we have minus 3w plus 5w. We can just apply that our concept that we acquire when we're talking about addition and subtraction. It's as if we are saying you have uh, the rate of $3 and I mean you are owing $3 and you have 5 bucks. So if you pay a debt of 3 out of your remaining 5, out of the 5 you have, you have, you have 2 W left. So equals to 2. And maybe if you ask on the exam, the final answer could be factored. So 2V plus W equals to 2. So you can see how everything is coming together right now. Now we have a 4M plus 3N equals to 2N plus 3M plus 10. This looks very tricky. And there are two ways by which you can approach question number four. But we're going to apply a very simple approach. And in subsequent examples, when we get to multiplication and division, will be able to elaborate more on this extensively. So allow me to be able to show you how we undo this. So you can tell me what would be the first thing we want to do. Man, you got that right. We want to collect the like terms. So collect the like terms. And now you can see the importance of it. It helps us to be able to group everything in the right order. So we have four him. So, but on the right hand side, we have an equality sign. So, if this plus 3 should cross this equality sign to the other side, it becomes minus 3n. Then we have plus 3n. 
This is a plus 2n on this right hand side. If it also crosses to the other side, it becomes minus 2n. And I'm going to explain the justification for that as we go ahead in our discussion. So equals to 10, we are going to leave 10 outside. So 4m minus 3m will give us an ordinary m, that is 1m. And then this one, which is a 3n plus 3n minus 2n will give us plus n equals to 10. And we leave the answer as this. So this is our entrance to pre-algebra going into algebra to show that we understand how we manipulate coefficient and variable and understand how to put like terms and unlike terms to good use. So question number five. So we have r plus 3s plus 4r plus 5s equals to minus 10r plus 2. So how do we approach this? We want to do the first thing first. We want to collect all the like terms. So you can see the importance of the like terms collection now. It helps us to have a better sense of direction and how to really go about solving this uh, simple equation. So I'm going to start with R. And what else do you see? Plus 4R. And then we have on the other side of the equality sign. If this should cross the equality sign, it becomes plus 10R. And then we have, after R, we have S. Plus 3S plus 5S equals to 2. Because the 2 is still outside. It is a coefficient. It doesn't have any variable. So this gives us R plus 4R making 5R. 5R plus 10R will give us 15R. So we have plus 3s plus 5s will give us 8s equals to 2. So this is how we're going to leave our final answer. So I'm going to stop here just like I promised and then we'll continue on the other side uh, for part 2. So if you are benefiting from this video, please like the video and subscribe to this channel. I'll see you in the next video where we continue the conversation.